So now I'm going to put a singlet lens here with an effective focal length of 100 millimeters, bring the uh, Gaussian beam to focus and then look at the phase aberrations of that Gaussian beam. So to to design a lens, I could design one from scratch or I could just buy one out of a catalogue and that's what I'm going to choose to do in this case. So I'm going to go to Libraries, Lens Catalogue and I've set myself up a search to look through the Edmund Optics catalogue for, I'm looking for 100 millimeters effective focal length so I've given myself a little bit of range on there and I'm looking for something bigger in aperture than about 10 millimeters so I set that as my minimum and then put 15 as my maximum and I want singlet lenses I don't want any gradient index a spheres toroids or meniscus and so that gives me this number of uh, lenses here you can see I've got a, a fairly wide choice of uh, lenses and I'm going to go for this uh, fellow here, 12 millimeters uh, uh, entrance pupil diameter, planospherical lens. And I'm going to press insert. If I press load, this will create a whole new lens design with just this lens in it. But I want to insert this lens into this lens design. So I'm going to say insert. And I'm going to insert it at the surface where the lens goes here and I don't need the object surface of the lens that I'm inserting so I just press OK and then close and that gives me my lens. So now I just need to tidy up the editor a little bit. Uh, you'll see that I've brought my lens in, everything is correct but I'm just going to put the 100 millimeters back focal distance onto that surface and remove this surface. And now I just need to think about what is the what, what is the um, best back focal distance for the Gaussian beam that I have in mind. And to answer that I'm going to set this back focal thickness to be a variable. The V here means that Zmax can change it. And I'm going to go to the optimizer and go to the merit function editor and I'm going to say that what I want is a particular Gaussian beam size. The operand I want is Gaussian beam paraxial size and I want to get this Gaussian beam measured at surface number four. I know from the manufacturer's data sheet that the beam waist is 1.15 millimeters and that that occurs at a distance of 2.8 meters or 2,800 millimeters away from the output port of the laser because it's a Fabry Perot Etalon style uh, laser. I want to target this to be as small as possible and I'll give that a weight of 1. If I update the merit function you'll see that the Gaussian beam size is 19 microns and if I optimize start it's very very fast you'll see now I've got a 16 micron uh, spot size at a distance of 99.224 instead of 100 millimeters now that's uh, fine that, that is the best paraxial beam size but what do the aberrations of this lens do to that Gaussian beam well to see that we need to go to analyze and physical optics and then I'm going to set this up as follows I'll just turn well, I'll leave auto apply on for right now I'm going to set it to go to beam number uh, four or surface number four and I know that relative to surface number one the beam waist is 2.8 meters away I have a Gaussian beam and I know that the Gaussian beam is 1.15 in X, 1.15 in Y and I'm going to use a reasonable sampling and if I just check this automatic button it will set the size of this beam to be what I want and I'll just say OK, thank you very much. So here's my Gaussian beam. It looks good but how do I know how good it really is? Well, it's more useful to look at phase 
than irradiance when you're looking at the aberrations of a Gaussian beam. So if I just choose this to be phase, you'll see now I can see a phase cross section across the, or a phase plot of it. Uh, and I'd like to now just look at a cross sectional plot. And that's really useful. This is showing me that I'm getting something like, well, this is 0.015 of a radian. So this is something like lambda by 75 or so uh, here. So this is telling me what the aberration of that beam looks like. And you can see that it has the Goy shift up here, a basic focus type of shape, and then spherical aberrations bring the phase back up to zero uh, here. So that's how good my lens is. Just remember that this is about 0.01 of a radian right here.